Hey guys, hey guys, so sorry for the interruption. Um, this is me live again. Delilah, Delilah's download saying what needs to be said. Um, sorry about that. You know, corporate America don't stop, and sometimes you get phone calls at eight o'clock in the morning. Um, so sorry for the interruption. We were talking about First Kings 21, um, the story of uh, part of the story of Ahab and Jezebel. So sorry again for the interruption. Um, got a phone call. I'm going to have to figure out how to work around that in the future. But just to follow up where we were, we were basically saying that, ladies, it's not for us to put our hands on everything. And I was actually in, in the process of uh, um, wrapping it up. So just two key takeaways, two key takeaways um, from our, our discussion this morning in first, on First Kings. Um, one you know, know your source, know who you're talking to, know the character of the people. So you know if you're being sent off or not, that you can check your resources. Um, and, and ladies, let's let kings be kings. Let's let leaders be leaders. Hey there, Annette, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Um, let's let leaders be leaders. Let's not get so anxious, right? The Lord says that we shouldn't be anxious about anything, but with prayer and supplication, make our petitions known to him. That means don't jump all on top of your husband when there's a situation and now all of a sudden you want to be in control. It's not for you to control. And I also was following up to say in that story in 1 Kings 21, um, because Jezebel fell out of line and took an action on behalf of her husband Ahab, um, God cursed his son. His, his, his child suffered from the actions of his wife. His child suffered from the actions of his wife. God said because Ahab came and humbled himself because of everything that had happened, um, that God spared him, but his son caught, caught, the, caught, the, caught the brunt of the punishment. And I don't want to call it punishment, but the consequence of the action. His son caught the consequence of the action. So women, be careful when you fall out of line. Because when you fall out of line, we could actually be putting our children in jeopardy. Just look at the today's life application. If you have a husband in your house, a father in the, the life of your children, and you're playing, um, and you're trying to do mother and father and not allow, everybody doesn't know everything. This man needs a chance to grow into his role. And you're, we're not allowing him to do that. There are children, there are men, boy children, watching how we treat these husbands. And they're being impacted. So we could very easily cause harm to our children by falling out of line. So. I'm not going to go into a whole nother word, not going into a whole nother word, uh, but be careful who we're listening to, the authenticity of what we're listening to, right? We, uh, the voice of the father will hear, the voice of the stranger we will not follow, right? And, and have an encouraging word for your man. Have an encouraging word for your man, right? Babe, how can I help? How can I help? What do you want me to do? What is my role in this? And if he doesn't know, he doesn't know. Back up. Sometimes you don't know. But that's it, fam. Um, that's all I had to share. Sorry it came in two bits. Um, but until next time, this is Delilah's Downloads coming from the lovely island of Oahu. Uh, and see, now it's been a busy morning, y'all. I'm trying to actually sign off. And I got people texting me just like I had phone calls coming through. I'm going to go ahead, get out of here, go to work. Until next time, family, bid you an aloha. All right. I love you guys. Take care. Change the world. All right. Hold on, Destiny. Some other men, by always taking control, does nothing but teach them to always depend on us. In the name of Jesus. And a so awesome young, a young woman, a guy that you got that revelation at your age. Because, um, see, now, see, see what you done did? Because that's exactly what it does. That's exactly what it does. We have to trust. And it says to them, I don't trust you. Not only does it say depend on me, it gives a clear message that you're not capable. Why would I trust you to do anything? Everything you do, I have to come through behind you. You're just useless. You're not capable. But at the same time, out of my, our mouth, we're calling them kings.